Evolution is the idea that current species are descendants of ancestral species. In other words, descent with modification, which was proposed by Charles Darwin in The Origin of Species in 1859. Several scientists and intellectuals had an impact on Darwin's theory. Linnaeus was the founder of taxonomy, the branch of biology concerned with classifying organisms. Cuvier was the founder of paleontology, or the study of fossils, which helped to lay the groundwork for Darwin's ideas. Fossils are remains or traces of organisms from the past, usually found in sedimentary rock, which appears in layers or strata. Cuvier recognized gaps in fossil succession as mass extinction events. He proposed the theory of catastrophism, which states that events in the past occurred suddenly and were caused by mechanisms different from those operating in the present. Hutton and Liliel studied geology, which is the study of Earth's physical structure and substances. They proposed that the Earth's change occurred through gradualism, the cumulative effect of slow but continuous process. Lamarck hypothesized that species evolve through use and disuse of body parts, and the inheritance of acquired characteristics. For example, during its lifetime, a giraffe will elongate its neck to reach higher leaves. This acquired trait is then passed down to its offspring, explaining the evolution of giraffe's neck. However, this theory of evolution is later disproven by Darwin's theory of natural selection. During his travels on the Beagle, Darwin collected specimens of South American plants and animals. He was particularly interested in the geographic distribution of species at the Galapagos Islands. Darwin made several important observations. First, members of a population often vary greatly in their traits. Second, the variation of different traits is heritable, passing from parents to offspring. Third, all species have exponential fertility, meaning that they are capable of producing more offspring than the environment can support. Fourth, overpopulation leads to competition for food and other resources. Based on these observations, Darwin proposed the theory of natural selection to explain evolution, which is based on the concept of survival of the fittest, whereby individuals whose inherited traits give them a higher probability of surviving and reproducing in a given environment tend to leave more offspring than other individuals. This unequal ability of individuals to survive and reproduce will lead to the accumulation of favorable traits in the population over generations, which may eventually lead to speciation the rise of new species. Ultimately, the local environment determines which traits will be selected for or selected against in any specific population. Comparative anatomy is the study of similarities and differences in the structures of different species. Homology refers to similarity resulting from common ancestry, such as the bone structure of human, cat, whale, and bat, which are all mammals. Vestigial structures are remnants of features that serve important functions in the organism's ancestors, such as the human tailbone, which is evidence of our primate ancestry. Analogous traits arise when groups independently adapt to similar environments in similar ways, such as the common fusiform body shape of a shark and a dolphin, allowing them to swim efficiently. However, the two species are distinctly related, as dolphin is a mammal while shark is a fish. Convergent evolution is the evolution of analogous traits in distantly related groups. Natural selection acts on individuals, but only populations evolve. Microevolution is a change in allele frequencies in a population over generations. A population is a localized group of individuals capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offspring. The ultimate sources of genetic variations are mutation and sexual reproduction. Mutations refer to changes in nucleotide sequence of DNA, which cause new genes and alleles to arise, whereas sexual reproduction can shuffle existing alleles into new combinations. Through genetic recombination or crossing over, an independent assortment of different pairs of homologous chromosomes during meiosis. A gene pool consists of all the alleles for a loci in a population. A locus is fixed if all individuals in a population are homozygous for the same allele. A measure of genetic variation within a population is average heterozygosity, which is the average percent of loci that are heterozygous in a population. The Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium describes an ideal population that is not evolving. The closer a population is to the criteria of Hardy-Weinberg principle, the more stable the population is likely to be. There are five conditions for Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium that are rarely met in nature. An extremely large population, no gene flow from other populations, meaning immigration and immigration, no net mutations, random mating, and no natural selection. The frequency of an allele in a population can be calculated. If there are two alleles at a locus, P and Q are used to represent their frequencies. The frequency of all alleles in a population will add up to one. The genotype under Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium can be calculated by the equation P 
squared plus 2p cubed plus q squared equals 1, where p squared and q squared represent the frequencies of homozygous genotypes, and 2pq represents the frequency of heterozygous genotype. Natural selection, or the differential success in reproduction, is only one of the three major factors that alter allele frequencies and bring about most evolutionary changes. Natural selection is a non-random process. As mentioned earlier, gene flow, which is the immigration and immigration of individuals into and out of the population, can also change allele frequencies. It is a random process. Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium requires large population because small population is often subject to genetic drift, which is the random fluctuation in allele frequencies from one generation to the next. The founder effect occurs when a few individuals become isolated from a larger population. Allele frequencies in the small founder population can be different from those in the larger parent population. The bottleneck effect is a sudden reduction in population size due to a change in environment, such as a natural disaster. The resulting gene pool may no longer be reflective of the original population's gene pool. Only natural selection consistently results in adaptive evolution, the match between an organism and its environment. There are three modes of natural selection. Directional selection favors individuals at one end of the phenotypic range. Disruptive selection favors individuals at both extremes of the phenotypic range. And stabilizing selection favors intermediate variants and acts against extreme phenotypes. Because environments change, adaptive evolution is a continuous process. Whereas genetic drift and gene flow are random and do not consistently lead to adaptive evolution as they can increase or decrease the match between an organism and its environment. Various mechanisms help preserve genetic variation in a population. Diploidy maintains genetic variation in the form of hidden recessive alleles, so that harmful alleles can still persist within a population. In balanced selection, natural selection maintains two or more forms in a population. Heterozygote advantage occurs when heterozygotes have a higher fitness than do both homozygotes. Therefore, natural selection will tend to maintain two or more alleles at the locus. For example, the sickle cell allele causes mutations in hemoglobin but also confers malaria resistance. In frequency-dependent selection, the fitness of a phenotype declines if it becomes too common in a population. Selection favors whichever phenotype is less common in a population. Neutral variation is genetic variation that appears to confer no selective advantage or disadvantage. For example, variation in non-coding regions of DNA. Macroevolution refers to evolutionary change above the species level. There are two types of speciation, or the rise of new species. In allopatric speciation, geographic separation restricts gene flow between populations, to the point that even if contact is restored between populations, interbreeding is prevented. In sympatric speciation, a reproductive barrier isolates a subset of a population without geographic separation from the parent species. Sympatric speciation typically occurs through polyploidy, in which an offspring or group of offspring will be produced with twice the normal number of chromosomes. This phenomenon is found in many plant species. Sympatric speciation can also result from sexual selection, the natural selection for mating success. For example, sexual selection for mates of different colors has likely contributed to the speciation in cyclic fish in Lake Victoria. There are four different ways to define a species. The biological species concept states that a species is a group of populations whose members have the potential to interbreed in nature and produce viable fertile offspring. They do not breed successfully with other populations. There are two types of reproductive isolation that impede two different species from producing viable fertile offspring. Prezygotic reproductive barrier includes Habitat isolation, in which two species encounter each other rarely because they occupy different habitats, even though they are not isolated by physical barriers. Another prezygotic barrier is behavioral isolation, such as a certain courtship ritual and other behaviors that are unique to a certain species. In temporal isolation, species that breed at different times of the day, different seasons, or different years cannot mix their gametes. In mechanical isolation, morphological differences can prevent successful mating. And in gametic isolation, sperm of one species may not be able to fertilize eggs of another species. Postzygotic barriers prevent the hybrid zygote from developing into a viable fertile adult. Reduced hybrid viability refers to weak offspring that die off not long after birth. Reduced hybrid fertility refers to sterile offspring, such as a mule, which is a sterile hybrid offspring between horse and donkey. In hybrid breakdown, hybrids may be fertile and viable in the first generation, but the following generation may be weak or sterile. 
The disadvantage of biological species concept is that it cannot be applied to fossils or asexual organisms, including all prokaryotes. The morphological species concept defines a species by structural features. It applies to both sexual and asexual species but relies on subjective criteria. The ecological species concept views a species in terms of its ecological niche. It also applies to both sexual and asexual species and emphasizes the role of disruptive selection. Lastly, the phylogenetic species concept defines a species as a small group of individuals on a phylogenetic tree. It also applies to both sexual and asexual species, but it can be difficult to determine the degree of difference required to separate species. A hybrid zone is a region in which members of different species mate and produce hybrids, which may lead to three possible outcomes. Reinforcement strengthen the reproductive barriers and further reduce the gene flow. Fusion weakens the reproductive barriers with eventual fusion into one species. And stabilizing outcome refers to continued formation of hybrid individuals.